believe this. And now I think, I think Martha kind of missed this. Like, yeah, well, I believe you're the Messiah. Does that count for something? He says, do you believe this? Do you believe that it's, it's not just things that, that it's about me? It's about who I am. That the power, resurrection power dwells in me. And where I am, and I'm here, by the way, Martha, that power is here. It's not some far place in time, it's not some far off event that, that's going to happen. That power is standing here right before you know why. I'm here. Come on. I'm standing here. So I'm not asking, do you just believe on the Messiah or you believe that, that the things that are promised are going to come? Do you believe, do you understand who I am? Have you ever felt underestimated in your life? Anybody? No. Just me? No. I don't know if you played sports. This is back when people used to play outdoors. They don't do that anymore. But back when people played outdoors. <laughs> played pick up baseball, pick up basketball, pick up football, or whatever, whatever it was. And you had to pick teams. Ever thought you got picked a little later than you should have gotten picked? Yeah. Yeah. But God forbid you got picked last. That's a bad feeling. But ever thought you got picked a little later than you thought you should have gotten picked? Ever, ever thought that people just didn't expect from you what you knew you could do at school, at, at your job, whatever it is? Just you're a little bit underestimated. Jesus is like, I know you believe in me. But you underestimate me. Wow. Come on, Frank. And you put entirely too much focus on the circumstance. That's now I know that circumstances have changed. He was sick, and now he's dead. He was in the bed, and now he's in the tomb. And that may seem like a big deal to you, not a big deal to me. Yeah. See, Martha, you've underestimated me. I'm not a prophet preaching about resurrection. I am the resurrection. In fact, you can add about any list of names, Mr. Resurrection. Do 
ਕਿਵੇਂ ਗਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੀ the 
delete the poem. Come on, Brady. And put those angry words out of your vocabulary. When you're dealing with your family and your spouse, talk like Jesus. Amen. Take off the grave clothes. Amen. Put your heart out there. Man, I don't want to get hurt again. Put your heart out there. And have faith because he's the resurrection. He's already answered you. But you got to take off the grave clothes and walk in faith. Trusting in the power of God. That makes sense to you? Yes, it does. we got to trust in the power of God. Of God. Lastly, over to Ephesians 1. Amen. Ephesians 1, verse 18. God bless you. Paul writes to the Spirit in Ephesians 1 18. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. And it's an incomparable great love for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. And it goes on. Great passage. Okay, so this is essentially what it's saying. He says, look, I hope, I hope you guys get how great God is. I hope you understand how much he's done for us and how much he'll do for us. It says, and this great power that lives in us. What great power? Well, the power that's in Sean. The power that's in Jalisa. The power that's in Austin is like the power that raised Christ from the dead. Amen. Amen. It's resurrection power. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, look, it's not that there is a resurrection. It is that I am a resurrection. Mm. I'm here today to tell you, if he's in the room, then that power is in the room. If Christ is in you, then that power is in you. Amen. He said, look, the same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in you. Go 
the closet and pray. Don't be on the news today. No matter what you're going through, no matter how bad things have got, there's a way back. Let's pray for communion. This is the time we're room the death and burial and resurrection of Christ. 